I woke up on a motherfucking Tuesday. It was freezing, so my boy got hungry. So I came out to see what's to eat, and nigga said my death. So I went back to sleep. Ugh. Ugh. Whoo. I'm dying, this bitch. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, it's the Insane Game Freak Schizomatic here, back at it again with another Pokemon episode review. Uh, so, today's episode is a monumental one because Ash, I don't know if this is his first ghost type, I, I'm still not sure, and someone can correct me in our comments, but I think this is his first official ghost Pokemon, period. I don't think he has a ghost type. I'm, I'm racking my brain through the generations. I think this is his first ghost type, which is cool. I think he's had, he's literally, I think he's now had like one of every type now. I think this, this and maybe Fairy. Fairy might be the only other type he doesn't have. He's never caught anything for it. But he now has a ghost type in the form of Gengar. Which is a little offensive to me personally because I prefer Haunter as a Pokemon. But I, I, I look at it as a cool callback to the fact that he caught uh, an evolution to a Pokemon he had back in... It's like a weird Kanto reference, and I don't know if that's intentional or not. I think it's cool. I think the only thing I'm not a huge fan of is that essentially his... Gengar's backstory is essentially what, like, a good chunk of his... Mon, like, there's usually, like, one Mon from every generation that has that problem, which is... The Abandoned Pokemon. This one's kind of darker because he was abandoned for three years. <laughs> his trainer abandoned him for three years because... Gengar, quote-unquote, naturally brings bad luck. Honestly, the fact, and the, I think I'm a little bummed out because you could have turned this into an arc. I'm not saying, I don't know if I want how long of an arc I wanted it to be, but, like, it feels like they kind of crammed a bunch of stuff into the one episode because the first episode he was introduced, we didn't learn anything about him. Whereas if we had learned some of the stuff in that episode and then the other stuff here, I think it would have been paced better. Um, personally, I am a big fan of him having a ghost type. I'm also not a fan of him having a Gen 1 Pokemon again. Because now he has two. He has essentially half his team is Gen 1. Four, actually more than half if we count Mr. Mime. I don't know if we officially count Mr. Mime. I honestly think they just added Mr. Mime. Because Mr. Mime is there. And actually didn't have, a team, didn't have any other Pokemon besides Pikachu yet. But if we count Mr. Mime. That means like four of his Pokemon are fucking Gen 1. Pikachu... Dragonite, Gengar, Mr. Mime, if we count him. If not, half his fucking team is Gen 1. It, I, I feel like if you were going to, especially considering they travel all over the world, I find it weird that, like, for some reason, Ash's team all hangs in one region. Like, why not give him a variety of... Actually, the one thing that would have been cool is having him have different Pokemon from different regions. Like, maybe a Unovan one. Maybe a... Actually, I would have preferred him catching Cofrigris just out of it's a unique type of mon and it doesn't get a lot of love in the anime anyway like there are certain the gengar is pretty well known i don't feel like gengar needed the more promotion uh eh, like i said it's an acquired taste i guess um overall it's a cool episode i also like the idea that this gengar seems to be like a, a weird he seems to be sundere a little bit like i think the scene that I, that, that tipped me off the most was at the very end when uh, apparently Ash had a fever and was sick. And that was the reason why he, he seemed like he was cursed. He wasn't really cursed. He was sick. I get. I mean, that's the, the way the anime explains it. Um, and so when he wake, he passes out after the battle with Team Rocket. And he wakes up and Gengar drops like an apple. And then drops the Pokeball. Like he's super soon soon about it. Even when Gengar shows up. Because Ash goes, Gengar! And Gengar comes up and he's like... He's, like, shifting his eyes off into a direction. Like, like it's... I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me if we found out later that his Gengar is a girl. That shit would have me dying. The reason why I say it is because he... His Gengar seems to be, like, a very Sundere type where he's, like... Like, he's still gonna fuck with you even though he likes you. Like, it, it comes off very soon soon to me. I don't know if it's... if it's a, I, I'm assuming it's a guy, but it would not surprise me if we found out later... Oh yeah, your gang girl is a girl. What? You're a girl? And like, I don't know. <laughs> I think it'd be kind of funny and kind of cool and kind of cute, but it's he's definitely a soon, regardless of gender, he is definitely a soon dead eight as fuck with this whole, that shit, that's probably like, if that, that gif would probably be my favorite one. 
where he's like, Gengar, and Gengar is like, Gang. And he's like shifting his eyes. He's like, Gengar, do you want me to catch you? Gang. Gang. Gengar. <laughs> um, actually, it's weird because Go was being kind of Sundeta here too. Uh, the way he was acting about how he was essentially helping out Ash, but for some reason didn't want to admit it to Score Bunny, even though Score Bunny obviously knew, like, yeah, you're full of shit, go, I know what you're doing. <laughs> like, like, you think this is a fucking joke? You think you think I can't read it between the lines? I know what you're doing, it's not, you're not cute. Um, well, some girls would disagree, but that's besides the point. And the next episode seems to be Score Bunny focused anyway. I've already, there's already been leaks or images going around that goes, Score Bunny is going to evolve. And I'm assuming we're going to start doing, like, arc, like, you know, Ash-centered battles and shit soon. So I'm assuming he's this is him getting his team together. I find it kind of ridiculous that his two Mons are two Pokemon that are very well known to be insanely good. Like, he hasn't had a team like this since, like, Gen... Well, Gen 6 was pretty, Gen 6 was pretty consistent. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think it would probably be... Gen 7 had the potential to be. And Gen 7 is still kind of broken in its own right. It's just not like 100% like goddamn busted. But like Gen, what was it, Gen 4, he had a pretty busted team. Gen 6 was pretty busted overall. And Gen 7 is had the is pseudo busted, meaning uh, like it's, it's very weird. Here, he's starting off with a fucking... Dragonite and a goddamn Gengar. Like, mmm, this man's already running. He's running around with some of the strongest types in the fucking game. You got your Pikachu running like that neutral coverage. And then there's, there's your fucking Gengar with the fucking Shadow Balls. Can take out two Dusclops at the same time. This fucking madman. And then this big ass Dragonite. You just riding out like, like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just see, I see Ash in the back like, mmm. He's gonna pull up on Misty. He's gonna go to Cerulean City. He's gonna pull up on Misty. Be like, mm -hmm. what's up, girl? <laughs> oh shit. Uh, but yeah, I think the next episode. I don't think he'll evolve this episode, but supposedly there's already been images leaked about Go's Score Bunny evolving into Rabu. So I'm assuming. This is either the beginning of that, or it might just lead into it. I don't know which. I haven't looked up the episode list, but I know he's... And we've already seen the images. He's more likely going to evolve. Um, which seems kind of quick, considering... I mean, what? This is episode 15. He's already in his second form. Maybe I'm tripping. I just don't remember... Sec, I don't remember sec, like the first evolution being that early. Not for like our main character's like main Pokemon. Because they want them to be cute for a while, so... We'll see. I actually don't know how much taller he gets his red boot, so we'll see. We'll see. He's still short, but he's not crazy short. Cinderace is going to be fucking adorable, especially if Cinderace is kind of like as goofy as... I'm curious if his personality will change at all. We'll see. That's a whole bunch of theory crafting that we don't got time for. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the support. Leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. This has been your boy, the Insane Game Freak. Let's get so many likes a game, put a win, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace all later day 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 I tried to breathe and I forgot to open up my chest. They scream, breathe motherfucker, breathe! And guess what? I died.